Welcome to Minikun Tutorials. Today I'm going to provide you with the best solution to all your data reading or importation problems in R or R Studio. The tutorial covers three major problems or three major recurrent problems in data reading or importation in R, which have to do firstly with false missing values. We've already demonstrated that. As you can see here, we've imported data using the read or CSV command, and we realized that it introduced a false, or in other words, a pseudo column, which is weird. Sometimes it may occur somewhere around here, or sometimes across the whole data set, you see that there are false missing values. Meanwhile, on the actual worksheet or Excel sheet, there are no missing values. We've already discussed that. And now, in order to resolve this, I've explained that you simply have to copy uh, this data set, click open a new worksheet like this. For instance, just click here, copy this data set, open a new worksheet, paste it here, and you select values, paste it in the form of values, save this new data set, and redo the importation or the reading. It will work. It will come. You see that you now have a new data set without these false or pseudo missing values this is the major the first problem the second problem has to do with what we call embedded nulls so first of all i'm sorry i wouldn't have to re i mean to i've already treated this so if you would like to watch this first part of the tutorial that has to do with false missing values please check below in the des description box of this video and you find the link to this particular video on how to resolve problems of false or pseudo missing values in our data reading. The second problem that we will tackle has to do with embedded nulls error. This occurs, I don't know why. So let me show you, for example, especially when you are using the read or table command, sometimes it happens, you know. So I'll show you how to deal with this problem of embedded nulls. Let's try to read in a data set in the form of a tab file, like something like this. So let's try to import this one. It's data four that I've named it as it is. So to import it, what we do, as usual, we right click on it. So we right click on it and click on properties. And then we click on security. By the way, let me open the data set so that you can, uh, you can see this is a tab file. A tab delimited file it is a text file you know so to import it as i said let me close it here this is the file we click on right click on it then you click on properties you click on properties you click on security and copy the file extension as usual Control c or you right click here and click on copy to copy the file extension perfect so now we get back to our R or R Studio, and now we enter the command. We can name this data set, let's say data two. You can give it your name, whichever name you want to give it. So data two, for example, is equal to then we use the read or CSV command, read dot CSV command and the brackets. Paste this here and then close the brackets. And we change this. Okay. And we are ready to go. So if I should try importing this data set, you see whether it will work or not. Sorry, I'm supposed to use read.table, not read.csv, because preferably since the 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 file is a tab file, so we use read.table. So table here. Okay, and after this, uh, we are supposed to put the header. So header is equal to true to tell you that the column titles are contained in the first, uh, what do we call it, the first row. And after that, we have to also uh, indicate what do we call it, the separation. So this is a tab delimited file as I showed you earlier on. So it says separation is equal to 
then backslash t for to denote tab tab file as i've shown you earlier on this is the file let me open it again this is a tab delimited file as you can see the values are separated by spaces tab just like the tab key okay so let's try to read this and see what it will give us see it has given us this error after reading the command here look at the error that it has shown us you see this is what i was talking about embedded nulls as you can see nulls yeah embedded nulls as you can see so how do we solve this problem it's not just only with read or csv i mean read or table it can also happen with read or csv and many other commands so how do we solve it by default let me show you something when we write uh, uh, let's try to seek help so that we look at the whole uh, command how we support we are supposed to enter it if i should say help or question mark into brackets read or table so that I can see the default entries that we usually skip and show you something. If I should execute this, okay, I just opened the help menu. And as you can see, we have a whole lot of things that we are supposed to enter when trying to import data, but by default, R does the job for us. But sometimes, when I mean, some of these errors come, then we have to follow the protocol. So you realize that by default, we have what we call skip now here, where we usually say is equal to false. You see, so when you say skip now is equal to false, you see, these are some of the problems that it may give us. By default, it's, it's, it's left as false. But since it has shown us that there are, what do we call it, embedded nulls, then we have to say skip now is equal to true, so that you can skip those nulls. So we simply come to our R here and then we write comma and say skip nulls, skip null as it's written, you write it the way it is, it's equal to true. True, you, are, you can write true in capital letters or just write T, it's the same. So if I should execute this. You see that it has worked perfectly it hasn't given us any error again as you can see it hasn't given us any error again and we can now print our data set as usual you can say print uh, let's try to print into brackets data 2 and see what it will give us what is happening saying unexpected error in print have i made any mistake this is the data that we just read in skip now this part true and it has been able to do the job now we're trying to print data too yeah it was supposed to work i don't know why this data too here okay here it is I don't know, print in the brackets data 2. This is how it's written, so sorry. I don't know why it's giving it first gave us an error. Yeah. Okay, so here's the data set. But you realize that now, okay, let me show you the original data set as in the tab found this uh, text file. So you see that the data set has been imported that's cool but it has given us some some kind of variables or columns that i don't even know what to call it you know something like this you see so, and this takes us to the the third recurring problems in importing data into r sometimes you could have this straight away even without having first of all the the embedded nulls problem you could just have this straight away in trying to import the data it could give you the, the data could come Instead of having like what we have here, X and Y straight away, we will have maybe X and Y with other variables that we don't even know what it is, you know. As to whether this is related to the embedded nulls, I don't know. But how do we also get rid of this?
So to get rid of this, we simply have to add something to this. You know, this is the original command. This is the original command, which is here. Where is it? Yeah. I'm trying to import. It gave us the error. I mean, sorry. This is the original command. Oh, it's like we, we edited it, no problem. We in trying to import it, it gave us an error that of embedded nulls. To resolve the problem of embedded nulls, what did we do? This, this was the error here. To resolve this problem, we decided to come to add skip nulls is equal to true. And after doing that, it has been able to import the data set. However, there are these pseudo variables or whatever. It's not only like, as I said, the pr this problem could have come straight away, even without you having the problem of skip null error. So in whichever way it comes, like as soon as if you, so this we have, we've tackled the first two problems. First I have to do with false NR or false missing uh, values. Second problem has to do with embedded null error. And we are saying in case you have embedded null error, simply add skip null is equal to true. And then the third problem has to do with what this pseudo what sort of a column that it has. I don't know what it is. And that has to do with the file encoding. You know, this the third problem. So to deal with the file encoding, you simply have to add like uh, there are several uh, file encodings. These are some of the ones that are listed here. We can use the first one and see whether it will work. So in order not to waste my time, so my time, I'll just copy the this command here and paste it here and now add the file encoding so right here comma and add the file encoding you see that we have several file encoding you can try each of them at your own free time i will use the first one and i hope it works so that i can get rid of this uh, this false column that it just introduced so we just paste it here okay now let's try to execute and see what it will give us it has accepted without any problem let's print our data set as usual print into brackets data 2 Okay, so if I should execute this, you see that it has vanished. Now we no longer have the, what do we call it, the file, the file encoding problem. It has gone, you see, so this is how it is. Let me give you a recap of all that we've done. First, we tackle the problem of what pseudo enna, and I said the video is right below in the description. We corrected that by copying and pasting our values in the form of uh, i mean our yeah our values using the option paste in the form of values command in a uh, option in excel and save the data re uh, imported it or reread it and it came without those false and uh, secondly we had the problem of what uh, embedded nulls and I said to do to deal with this, you have to add skip null is equal to true. By default, it's always false. We did that, and then we came out with our data. Initially, it gave us an error we could not import. We were able to import the data set, but we face another challenge. And that challenge has to do with what? Um, that challenge has to do with encoding, file encoding. And I said there are several file encodings but we decided to use this one this one here and it worked for us we use this you could try the rest but when we use this it worked perfectly so this is how to these are there may be others maybe if you have any other problem do not hesitate to write it in the comments box if you have another any problem at all relating to data importation just do not hesitate to write your comment and I'll respond if possible with another tutorial. I hope my explanation was clear and please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Share with your friends and family and um, please subscribe. 
so that you wouldn't miss uh, my tutorials. Thank you so much and please subscribe. I always remind you to subscribe. Do me this favor. See you in the next video. Bye.